It is a crime that's sweeping the country, and now Prince George's County has fallen prey to it. Thousands of dollars have been stolen and used cooking oil. And ABC 7's Robert Lyles explains uh, why these oil heists are taking place. You can't be a car owner. I think it's insane because I got paid like 20, I almost paid $25 a day, a day. And not feel the pocketbook pinch at the pump. Through the week, I just put like 15, maybe 20 in there. But what few know is that when the price per gallon rises, so does the incidence of a crime so foul it's hidden from sight. It doesn't matter what time of day, and the reason why is because they're pretty bold. Crooks are targeting used cooking oil. People are doing everything these days. I mean, everybody's want money. Cameras outside America's best wings on Indian Head Highway captured two men back in a delivery truck up to the restaurant and in three minutes got away with 300 gallons with a street value of $3 a gallon. They were out $600. So imagine two containers. That's $1,200 right there. This is a lot of money. That chicken grease will be turned into biodiesel fueling buses, making biodiesel as competitive as oil and a hot black market. Because they're popping locks, they're sawing holes in the center of, of the containers. At least 100 used oil thefts in Prince George's County, say police, since late last year, but only one arrest. Police go on to tell us they have found very few regulations on the books that limit who can resell used oil back to the recyclers. So right now, this appears to be a limitless crime. So what's police recommendation to restaurant owners? Like you're safe, keep the used oil under lock and key. In Oxon Hill, I'm Robert Lyles, ABC 7 News.